So um, we are the affirmative for the, in the increase in regulation um, regarding the chemicals and um, other uh, substances used in the process of fracking. So um, uh, hydraulic fracturing, also known as fracking, is a process which um, there is drilling down into the earth and there is a uh, high pressure uh, a high pressure water mixture made up of uh, various substances, uh, very harsh chemicals, sand and water, that are directed towards um, solid rock, and uh, that's directed to um, release natural gas. Um, so, firstly, um, <coughs> tracking is harmful to the environment. Uh, there are numerous air pollutants that appear from fracking. There's a large amount of diesel emissions due to heavy use of diesel fueled machinery and hundreds of truck trips that involve that are involved throughout the whole um, fracking process. In addition, uh, some of these pollutants that are released during the drilling process are uh, benzene and ethyl benzene, which are um, carcinogens. Uh, uh, smog, also known as ground-level ozone, is also created. Um, in addition, carbon monoxide and various metals are released into the, the area. And the exposure to these pollutants can uh, are known to um, cause cancer, uh, various uh, uh, short-lived il illnesses, and uh, organ damage. Um, in addition, the Associated Press has also uh, recently reported that uh, chemi chemically tainted soil from dr drilling waste um, has increased uh, by nearly 5,000% uh, over the past decade. And uh, in the last year, there's been about 500,000 tons of um, tainted soil. Uh, secondly, fracking is hazardous uh, for people and local wildlife. Um, there's a loophole right now in um, the Safe Drinking Water Act, which <coughs> exempts um, fracking from being regulated. So technically, they don't have to um, uh, have any real process in cleaning up the water that they use. Um, in addition, um, investigations done by uh, this organization called ProPublica uh, found that fracking uh, resolved, uh, there was 1,000 cases, more than 1,000 cases of water contamination in over seven states, and dozens of these uh, cases, uh, it was found that the wells that the natural gas was uh, being collected uh, were properly um, constructed, and they uh, contam contam contaminated the local uh, water sources. Um, in addition, uh, most uh, fracking wastewater in the U.S. is injected deep underground and, uh, in, and has um, increased the amount of uh, <coughs> recycling um, is used for uh, drilling and, uh, set or sent to um, water treatment facilities, but the majority of these facilities are funded by the state and are properly trained in treating this water. Um, in addition, uh, 30 to 70 percent of fracking fluid, including the chemicals and other toxic substances, uh, are found to resurface within the lifespan of the well, uh, which is roughly 20 to 30 years. Uh, lastly, uh, the reliance on fracking will limit the deployment of new sources of electricity. So, um, solar and wind power you use almost no water and emit no greenhouse gases, but the cheap and abundance, the cheapness and abundance of natural gas uh, will probably limit their deployment as new sources of electricity. Uh, so the solvency claim is that uh, the disclosure of chemicals would allow for adequate research uh, regarding the impact of fracking on health and the environment and allow government regulation regulatory organizations to do studies and tests on fracking and the chemicals involved in the fracking process.